All right, so we've successfully cloned our app, so let's get this out of here. But as I mentioned in the last section, there were a couple of instances where we used widgets that we knew that might have been better replaced by widgets that we haven't yet learned. And so I'd like to introduce two other widgets and put them in our widget tree in place of the ones that we did use. And the first series of widgets that I would like to take out are these container widgets that we used for spacing. So we use them to create a little bit of space between our image and the Philadelphia Convention Center, and then in between the text widgets. And then also down in our helper widget, uh, we used it to create a little bit of space between our lines, our row, and our divider. And there's nothing technically wrong with that. The problem is that if you come in and you look at your widget tree, you have a container here that is serving as the background with the color. You have a container that is serving as a spacer, another one for a spacer, another one for a spacer. You have a container here that is serving as a box to hold these icons. And then you've got a container that is being used for padding and another one for spacing. So it gets really confusing what is doing what purpose. And so a widget exists called sized box which just has the size, width, and child properties of a container. And generally speaking, whenever you're using a, uh, a widget just for spacing, instead of using container, you should use sized box. So I'm gonna put it there, I'm gonna put it there. Here as well, and then we used one more container as a spacer down all the way in our helper widget between the divider and the row, so I'll replace that there. And if I hit save, we should see no changes to the UI, and that's, that's all we want. We didn't want to actually change anything. We just want to use an appropriate widget uh, in place of the container. And the other one I would like to show you is a padding widget. And we can see inside of our helper widget, we use the container only for padding. That's all that we're doing. And whenever you're using a container or a widget only for padding, instead of the container, which has a multitude of functions, it's best to just use the padding widget, which you can see from the properties only has padding and a key. So that's it. And so that does exactly the same thing. You can see we hit save, nothing changes. But when you come down here, it's so much clearer that this widget is here simply to provide padding, whereas a container could be providing color, it could be rounding the corners, it could be doing any number of things. So that's much clearer. And with that, we're done with this app. So this was a, a pretty good exercise. We were able to use all of the base widgets plus the divider, plus we learned a couple more. We are able to use our layout widgets and construct a pretty believable UI here. It looks something like you might see out there in the wild. Now, out there in the wild, of course, most apps have more than one page. And so in our next unit, we're gonna learn all about navigating in a Flutter app, how to go from one page to another, how to go back, how to name routes, all of that uh, we'll do in the next unit.